evolutionary biology led to the situation where we lose muscle and bone density as we age. So one of the important concepts I try to communicate with my patients is that most experts agree that from a physiologic standpoint, we have not changed much for about 200,000 years. And we really haven't had much agriculture for about 10,000 years. So think about over 100,000 years, we lived in an environment where calories were scarce and we had to make decisions from a physiologic standpoint about where to put those limited resources. So let's say that your food was at the top of a tree and climbing trees led to better survival. The way our bodies worked with that was that the stress of climbing would lead towards stronger arms and hands and relatively smaller legs. We don't want heavy legs to climb up a tree. That would be a disadvantage. So those physiologic stressors led to physiologic changes that improved our survival. And then conversely, if our food was at the top of a mountain and we were climbing that mountain, that repetitive stress on our legs gave our bodies the physiologic stimulation to say, let's have stronger legs and likely had a thinner, more nimble upper body. Now fast forward to today where we can do nothing all day and have no physiologic stress. And what our body reads is, okay, we don't wanna waste our nutrients on making stronger muscles. Let's put that away as, as fat. Because obviously 100,000 years ago, calories were scarce and there was a physiologic advantage to storing every single excess calorie you could because when times were scarce, you would have it for reserve. So what we have to do now is we have to create an artificial world where we artificially, artificially strain our bodies to force it to gain that muscle and that bone density that we want. If we don't do it, then our body's physiology is not gonna do it. It's gonna put it in our body as fat. So this is a key concept that I often come back to when I'm talking to people that you really are a 100,000 year old caveman and it's designed to only put nutrients in areas that are stressed and to put the rest in reserve. So I hope you find this interesting. I hope you find this useful and motivating so that you realize that you have to create an artificial environment of stress to get the strength and the stamina and all the health benefits that you want because physiologically, that's how we're designed. Hope you found this useful. If you'd like to learn more about these topics, click the follow button below and we'll get you more great content.